Hey guys, it's Jess, and this is Vlogmas Day 12. And today I'm going to be showing you my witchcrafting uh, project that I have here, and that is creating a Yule log for our family. Um, we live in a pretty modern home. It's only built within the last 10 years, which means we have a fireplace, but it's gas. So there's no building real wood fires here. Um, and as uh, the traditional witches of years gone by would have done. So instead what I have uh, done is uh, gotten this piece of driftwood from the local river and then my husband has used a paddle bit on his drill to drill out these five spots for tea lights. And I have got these little decorative sticks. This is what it looks like before I started to take it apart. I uh, purchased them from the dollar store. They're actually a few years old. Got them a couple, two or three years ago and have used them in vases and other decorating ways. And uh, this year I've decided that they're going to become part of the Yule Log. So I just simply, I'm not going to do the rest of it for you right now since apparently this tape is becoming, is being really stubborn, but you unwrap this paper tape that's wrapping it all up and these little individual wired pieces come out, which are perfect for gluing on with hot glue. So I am going to take the next however long and I'm going to start gluing these individual pieces down. Um, in case you're wanting to know what other tools you might use, you might need to use, I do have a pair of wire cutters here in case some of these wired pieces don't need to be wrapped around. I may just need to clip them off and glue pieces directly onto the wood with my hot glue. Um, I've also got an old envelope down to catch any glue drips that might come while I'm setting up new pieces, and I've got an extra glue stick. Um, I've got incense going, but that's not exactly an actual tool. I just wanted it to smell nice. <laughs> Hot cups of tea or cocoa or wassail or other seasonal drinks are perfectly appropriate as well. Um, and without further ado, let's get crafting.
Hey guys, welcome back. We have a completed Yule Log. Um, I would love to show you what it looks like with the tea lights inside it and light them for you. However, um, Ikea has let me down. Um, their tea lights are about maybe a millimeter too wide in diameter to fit a standard tea light holder hole. I think this is the only one where it actually went in. Yeah, no, this, we got a bit, uh, a paddle bit to match like the two or three different brands of tea lights that I had at the time, which were not Ikea. So I'm going to do my best to get some uh, non Ikea tea lights over the next uh, day or so. So check my Instagram and my Facebook account in uh, over the next couple of days and you should see a completed and lit Yule Log then. Um, little bits might need just to be slightly adjusted, maybe pried off and re-glued millimeter over or something just to make sure that nothing lights on fire. But I think it looks pretty good. Um, I didn't use all the bits that I had off. There are lots of little things left over. And I probably could have, you know, showed far less restraint and gone kind of like on the sides and stuff too, but I like, I like how stripped back and how, um, what's the word, um, restrained the decorations are. That's, um, I'm not known for that, so. <laughs> Um, but yeah, tell me in the comments what you think. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. And um, I hope you enjoyed the somewhat humorous, somewhat not safe for work squirrel manipulation <laughs> by my husband. <laughs> that was... Um, <laughs> That was definitely not planned on my part, but uh, served to bring a smile to my face throughout the process. So um, feel free to ask any questions or make any comments in the section below, and we'll see you guys again for day 13. Bye, and blessed be.